uh, as I was saying, um, let's start with our first question on um, what happened today. I've shared the link to the on the chat window. Yes, you can already see um, feedback coming in. For those who are looking for the code, it's 10728786. I'll also put it on the chat. Yes, so we have an uh, awesome presentation about uh, what implementers have done. Uh, interesting lightning talks, had the ability to move from one breakout room. Yes, that was one of the expectations we had today. We also had expectations of seeing presentations, BAMNI demo, heard about how the community has evolved, learned a lot about the great work happening in the community, seeing familiar names in the rooms, great breakout discussion on upgrade uh, stroke adoption of 3.x, QA, uh, QA showcase was rocking, uh, great presentation from M Zima team. Um, people enjoyed the implementation showcase and letting you talk on mobile, amazing implementation showcases. Uh, so much uh, open wires progress. So um, this is all good. Uh, amazing, uh, we have that's still amazing implementation showcases. All right, um, we're going a bit on a marathon here, slightly. So we'll go to our next question. MZ Marox can still have more coming in. So our next question: What do you ex What do you want to keep doing for the next meeting? So what is it that you liked about this meeting that you'd like us, you'd like to see in our next meeting? And of course, our next upcoming meeting will be our annual uh, Open MRS conference. Right, we have implementer presentations. Mm -hmm. Make sure to have more, more implementer showcases and demos, right? Great organization, uh-huh. Squad demos more breakout time for working together or strategy solution, targeted breakout sessions, uh -huh. more implementer showcases. Right. So more, um, the auto test cases was great. I didn't know uh, such tools existed. Well-time presentation. Well, as we are having more and um, as we are having more of uh, your feedback coming in, so we have more conference visibility, good coordination and participation. Thank you so much, everyone. This is a team effort. Um, we can be, as you continue bringing in your, uh, uh, putting in your suggestions, uh, we can move into the next set about where we'll be closing. Um, so far, we are coming to an end to our two-day meeting. Um, and for this particular session, I'll hand it over to Jen to take us through it. And um, hope to see you in our next meeting. Jen? Thank you, Christine. And actually, I have to say thank you to every single person who decided to do a lightning talk, a showcase presentation um, yesterday today for even coming and joining our virtual meeting. Um, I know for some of you it's late in the day, for some people it's early in the morning, but I think um, increasingly these virtual community meetings really help us um, keep up with what's happening. Like more than ever, there's so much going on. Um, and, and as I started out the meeting yesterday, um, these are spaces and these are times when we can start sharing ideas that then start to be acted on and, and end up in many cases as something tangible that we can all benefit from. Um, so I think that you saw over the last two days, um, progress made on some of the ideas presented um, two years ago, one year ago, six months ago. Um, and I think that we saw some new ideas coming up that I hope we will see um, more progress being made during the next the next six months before and, and we'll see what has had what has changed um, in our community in the next 
even four or five months at our next implementers meeting. Um, I also wanna say a special thank you to Christine and Grace for being such fantastic co-facilitators um, and making a lot of the nuts and bolts of this meeting happen behind the scenes. Um, it really couldn't have been happened without you um, and, and everything and getting all the little pieces working behind the scenes. So thank you so much for all of your, your time and helping pull this off. Um, we are lucky enough to, keep, to have our um, someone here in the audience who wears many different hats. Um, she wears an implementer's hat, she wears a community mem member's hat, and she also is the chair of the OpenMRS board of directors. So I actually wanna give um, Jan Flowers a minute or two to just share some of her thoughts and reflections on this meeting, um, where we are at this point in time and, and what she sees coming up ahead. Jan? Sure, thanks for that lofty introduction. Um, I think most people know me here, but um, I just wanna, uh, I just thought I would share a few thoughts about um, first, you know, I, this meeting in and of itself is always, it's so great that we're doing these this year. I feel like I learned so much from everyone that comes to these meetings and shares their lessons and their ideas and innovations. And it really gives me a lot of food for thought in thinking about as OpenMRS at large, how we make sure that we direct our efforts to best support you and what you're actually needing in the real world implementations that you're all working in. And um, some of the things I just wanna highlight that as OpenMRS, we know we're going to be doing um, over the next quarter and the next, uh, the, by the end of the year, um, to help support your efforts based on kind of what we're hearing in these meetings, as well as what we've been hearing in the discussions going on day to day in the community. Um, so some examples of the things that we're really excited about and that we're going to continue to push on for you is um, the 3.0 framework. Obviously, you heard a lot about that. There's a lot of discussion going on and what the strategy looks like in adopting that for folks. So um, you'll see us do a lot of talk about that, a lot of pushing in that, those squads that support that move towards that 3.0 framework. Uh, we're gonna continue to scale QA automation where it's relevant and infuse those QA best practices and support into the squads. I, I heard many times both yesterday and today how excited everybody was by the presentations by the QA team and kind of the work that's happening. We heard Christine say, we're 80% there. I think it's just kind of amazing how far the community has come in the past year um, working on that QA team and the QA efforts. And so we're gonna continue to keep moving that forward so that we can be the highest quality products and highest quality um, platform out there available. And so um, it, uh, to support some of those efforts, you know, we're gonna continue to um, think about uh, working hard on increasing our capacity building offering around 3.0, the ORI distribution or the ORI, not distribution, I forget the term, package, I think we're using now, the ORI package and the QA support around all of these things, including upgrade and migration strategies and including continuing to support the fellowship program that we've seen that's been such a big success this past year. Uh, we'll be expanding support for critical data exchanges. We've heard a lot from all of you saying like, we need more of this. Um, so using FHIR and supporting for that open HIE pattern. And that includes uh, working with IHE now on what it means to actually test those exchanges. So you'll see some of that coming, which will be a combination of our FHIR squad and our QA team. Um, and then, you know, behind the scenes, uh, often we don't talk about this, but we're gonna to continue to grow our operations support for management of the grants and the donations and the funding that we receive to make sure that we can support those programs like the fellowship program and the developers that need to be involved in the core uh, platform. And of course, Grace and Jen and Christine here. And so that includes critical business processes for long-term sustainability as OpenMRS, and then you know supporting community growth and increased engagement um, where we see the need for that. And then, you know, making sure we're offering new opportunities based on what all of you are saying, both yesterday and today, and then throughout the year around what you would like to see for OpenMRS community members to be engaged. And then lastly, um, you know, 
those of us who are on the board, we've been working really hard to ensure that our board is really actively involved in helping to figure out the best strategies and the best way forward for steering the ship in terms of funding and scaling for sustainability. So you'll see those efforts to um, continue and hopefully we'll communicate that to, out to you um, in the way that you want. But we're always open to hearing feedback, both on the business side of things and on the board side of things um, to make sure you hear what you want and we communicate in the way you want and that we're doing what you want. So feel free to reach out and talk to me if you have any ideas or thoughts or things that you wanna share with me. Thanks very much. Jen. Thanks, Jan. Um, yeah, I this next six months is gonna be even more exciting. Lots more coming on. Um, Burke, you said, let's get it done in 2021. And we are, and it, we just keep doing it. So. So bravo to everybody. Um, I, I wanna just, you know, maybe now open the floor and invite anybody else who would like to, you know, share any thoughts or reflections on, on this meeting or on where we're going, um, where, where we've come from. Um, yeah, I floor is open. Uh, this is Onyango from Nairobi. Hi. Uh, I'm very fine. This is my first time uh, attending your meetings. I just been receiving mails this time around. I came in. Thank you for that for your time. Now I'm wondering about this uh, idea of tracking uh, patients, tracking patients, asking them to come and uh, either visit the hospital. Why not have a client client version? Uh, similar to what uh, Akhil Mal Malhorta was presenting, where they just uh, non they can log in and uh, get updates and so on and so forth. That's my opinion. Thank you. This is Andy from uh, the U.S. and um, I I'm always so energized by seeing and hearing from the community and just all the incredible things that uh, people are have been doing oftentimes below the, the radar and so this is always a great opportunity to to see that and i you know i'm constantly challenged to figure ways to um keep it all visible and make it possible for people in between these meetings to um you know, to really catch up and, and participate. I know that, you know, oftentimes we're all so busy that it's kind of hard to go back <laughs> and, 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 and review things that we missed um, because we had a meeting in the middle of the, of the meeting or something along those lines. And so I'm definitely looking forward to um, in-person meetings again when we actually can um, be there together and undistracted. Um, one other point I think I was, you know, would make is that what we see is that there's kind of this um, overarching, overarching sort of um, arc, I guess, of the health systems and whether we're challenged by particular problems like COVID or whether there's the, you know, the move toward more interoperable systems or better integration with um, HMIS at the, at the Ministry of Health levels and so on. But as a community, you know, we're constantly trying to um, direct ourselves to be in alignment with that, th those, that direction or the current of, of the way things are moving within the world and within our customer or, or slash implementer base. And it really depends on everyone who's out there who's sensing, who's in contact with ministries and stakeholders and funders to uh, act like sensing elements and, and bring that back to the community so that we can align ourselves and continue to um, ensure, you know, not only our sustainability, but our um, our, our ability to respond to the needs of our, uh, that the world is providing or presenting to us. So of figuring out how we use the community to sense those, bring those kinds of 
um, inputs back in. Uh, and, and, then, and that may be as simple as specific requirements for reports or indicators or forms, I mean, at a very you know, small level, but it also can be big things like addressing pandemic surveillance or the importance of integration, integrating immunizations or, you know, the uh, health uh, care coverage for all initiatives. So I, I would ask us to think big on that. And thank you everybody for participating, of course. Hi everyone, um, this is Steven. I just wanna um, underscore um, some, uh, a bit of what Andy has just mentioned. And I think, um, you know, for me, especially um, given part of my role sitting on the board representing the community, I think, um, you know, just as Andy has mentioned, I'm, I'm really odd all, anytime I attend these meetings, just to see how, how much is bubbling from the community. And, um, and I think, you know, one of the things that is becoming, uh, is becoming increasingly clear to me is, um, um, you know, where OpenMRS is right now uh, as a community uh, through our evolution and maturity process is, uh, is really, a, it's, it's a really interesting uh, place where um, at a very personal level, I think I'm seeing a lot more clarity in terms of uh, the confluence of the community, which I, I, I view as the people who are here right now in this call and in the meetings we have um um regularly and the technology that we're building i mean i think for me it's becoming it's becoming increasing clear and um and i think you know the open mrs 3.0 efforts and the strategies going around that um are really actualizing uh for me the the real essence and element of a community um you know sitting in and listening in and participating in some of the squads and hearing what's driving the 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 members driving those uh, those codes and the technology that they are building and all that, there is so much communityness in them, um, and and what they are building, I think, will just make the glue that holds us even more stronger. Particularly in terms of opening new opportunities, um, I think in a long time um, we are seeing we are seeing, for example, people who have not traditionally been at the forefront and the you know center and front of open MRS, uh, you know, like designers, um, you know, people coming from the arts and all that. Uh, you know, really contributing to make OpenMRS a beautiful thing. You know, so it's not just hardcore technology that maybe um, may have been a, a, a adaptation in the past. Uh, but I just feel like our community is growing so much stronger, deeper, and broader at the same time. Um, and yeah, I really see beautiful days ahead. And um, and you know, just um, as as Andy mentioned, there's so much going on. And and you know, one of the things that we've seen over the over the years, the last couple of years. Is just how much is going on within each country, and you know, um, we're looking at, for ways and opportunities and suggestions for how for, uh, we can actually strengthen the in-country communities. Uh, you know, those small little clusters within each country, uh, within each district, within each uh, facility, and all that, that together make up the broader global open source community. Um, it's really been great for me. Um, I was sharing with Paul yesterday that uh, there's always something different about these open source meetings. Um, you know, most of us attend a lot of virtual events, but there's just something different about this. So thank you everyone. And I really wish everyone a good rest of your day or night. Such, such wonderful way, words, you know, all three of you, thank you for sharing your thoughts. Um, it, it's actually just making me dream about what will we see next? Um, you know, Steve, you talk about strengthening our, our relationships and strengthening, you know, local communities. Each time I think we meet, we, we give a little bit more attention to a, a group that we perhaps have not quite fully engaged yet. So I'm looking forward to, you know, now where can we go in terms of strengthening, strengthening our partnerships with organizations? We started touching on that this morning. Um, how can we how can we do even more at the country level um, through local communities with to engage ministries of health? I know that there's a lot of conversation um, happening, you know, with some implementers around that um, and the and the ORI package. Um, and Burke, I'm seeing I'm seeing your your comment about the theme already for 2022. Going there's still a lot more to do, but maybe it's it's going on to bigger and even better things. I think I think each year we're just going to get get better and better. Um, and it's in many ways, it's all due to the people who make the time to come together, um, share what you're thinking, 
um, putting your ideas out there, bat battering them around, improving them, iterating on them, and, and just moving us all forward together. So thank you to each and every single one of you for uh, making the time today, um, for making the time yesterday. And we'll, I hope we'll see more and more of you in some of our squad meetings, um, some of our community team meetings moving forward. Um, and, and, then, and so we won't wait until December to see you face-to-face -face, uh, or again in a virtual meeting, I think. Um, but hopefully soon we'll be able to have a hybrid hybrid face-to-face -face and virtual meeting. We're keeping that pulse. So thank you, thank you everybody. Just a quick one. Yeah, Hello. Tendo. Oh yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, I'd like to appreciate. Uh, I've enjoyed the, the presentations. Uh, quick one. I know it could have been addressed. Uh, from the platform team, we are looking at ways of making uh, the platform uh, better for each of the implementations and all of us. So we are doing a, a survey on a few thoughts from each one of the people to see how we can make it better. We know we cannot you know, think when uh, when the people that make it happen are not a part of it. So we'd like to gather your thoughts and uh, see how to make it better. So when we reach out to you, please help us. Thank you. Great, great reminder. Yeah, even as we think about, um, you know, where where three is going, it all relies on our platform. So you know, now we have a platform team. If you have ideas, or even better, want to be a part of the effort um, in strengthening our platform, please join our our platform team. All right. So I know it's getting late for many people. Um, and, and I think we, we can wrap things up for now. Um, please remember to share your feedback via the survey. I shared the link in the, um, in the chat. In the chat and we'll, we'll be able to, we'll make the recordings available um, on the events page. You can, we usually link the each session, the recording for each session to the session title on the schedule. So thank you everybody. And we'll see you in the community on talk on slack and at our next virtual meeting. <laughs>